Hey, what's going on? I'm Durian. I'm a website analyst. And I'm Kathy, and I'm an event planner. Our son Victor is a really good kid. He's sweet, athletic, and cute as a button. But there's one thing that's got to change. His pain in the ass girlfriend. This is Victor. He's dating Joyce. They've been together for one year, and Victor thinks she's hot stuff. But his parents think Joyce is cold as ice. So they're setting Victor up on two blind dates with girls they've each handpicked just for him. If you think this is hard for Victor, imagine how tough it will be for Joyce when she sits down with his parents and they watch the dates together. If he plays his cards right, he might even get a bra off. Whatever. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, Victor will have to decide which girl he wants to keep seeing. His girlfriend Joyce, or one of the new girls his parents have selected for him. Victor's about to get slammed by parental control. Victor, my girlfriend's name is Joyce. She's a fun, fiery Latina who always keeps me on my toes. First of all, whenever Joyce gets mad, she's always spewing at us in Spanish. Oh, we don't understand a thing she's saying. Not a damn thing. No habla español in mi casa. I don't know what you said, but word. And Joyce is always making Victor do her chores. You missed this part right there. He's become more of a manservant than a boyfriend. What kind of man lets a woman boss him around like that? Honey, can you give me my coffee, please? You go. And another thing about Joyce, everywhere she goes, she sits with her legs wide open. On the couch? In public? At the bus stop? I know women don't have to be prim and proper these days, but come on. Show a little class sometime. And Joyce is a vegan, and that's fine. But she thinks everyone else should be too. She goes into our fridge and throws away food because it has animal products in it. Even butter. That ain't meat. That's just good. Amen. And Joyce is always burping. Every time she opens her mouth, she lets one rip. If I had my way, I'd send that nasty thing off to charm school so she can learn some manners. I think a barnyard would be more her speed. Mm-hmm. Our son deserves a girl who's a perfect 10. And Joyce, you are nothing but a big zero. Now it's time for mom and dad to meet potential blind dates for Victor. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. My name is Taylor. Dana. I'm Carrie. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Tell me, what do you do for a living? I'm a dental assistant. Choreographer. I'm a soccer player. I work at a Caribbean restaurant. I'm studying to be a social worker. I am currently a sales associate at a clothing store. I'm a waiter at an Italian restaurant. I'm a piercer. I pierce everything. I am a belly dancer. Oh, watch out now, hey! Oh. Let me see some of that. Wait a minute. It's belly movement. I see a lot of booty action. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a little booty action. That's all right. All right. You're a butt man. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> if you were given the chance to break into your ex's Facebook page, what nasty status update would you write about him? Joey's taking a dump. Keith is chewing on his toenail clippings. Bruce is adding six inches to what it really is. Noah has a video game in one hand and his best friend's <laughs> in the other. You know. I'm not too much of a mean, mean person, but I would definitely say that Kevin is a serial killer with STDs. Well, for someone who's not mean, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm a and I stare at myself in the mirror when I We hate taking family photos because our son's girlfriend is always ruining them. Pose with my husband and let's see how good you look with our family. Right here, come on, take this. Very nice, okay. Oh, look at you. Is that the way you always pose with your ass hanging out? We have fun. You get a little too close to my man. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to grab it. Sit down, behave yourself. I get violent. Awesome. What's the one thing a guy has to do to win your heart? If you could give a good massage, you won me over. Open and close doors, all the time. I like it when a guy is super cheesy and very romantic. 
he would get major points if he dressed up in an Elvis costume and sang some karaoke to me. <laughs> I'm a sucker for roses. Breakfast in bed. Your bed? My bed. Are you corrupting my baby? How old is your son? Old enough to know better. <laughs> Why should we pick you to date our son? I think you should pick me to date your son because I'm a very caring person. I'm respectful. I'm outgoing, energetic. I'm cute. I could dress. Yeah, I'm classy. I'm polite. I'm fun. I'm cool to be around. And once you go Latin, great things will just happen. <laughs> oh, OK. Is that like once you go black? Like, yeah, but it's with the Latin. Oh, like, OK. Latin flavor. Do you know you've got Latin? <laughs> Because my life is one big fairy tale, and I would love for your son to be my Prince Charming. <laughs> free piercings for the family. Anything you want, free piercings for the rest of your life. Because I'm a younger, hotter version of you, Mom. Right, Dad? No. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you guys like me for your mm. son. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, watch out now. <laughs> Well, we have a buffet of ladies to choose from. Who are you thinking about? I like her. She's nice. I, I can go with her. Let me see this one. I'm thinking her. As long as we get Joyce out of the picture, we're good. She has to go. Give me some knuckles on that. Word. So check this out. My parents can't stand my girlfriend, Joyce. So they set me up on two blind dates, and my dad's pick is first. Dad wants a girl who can respect my needs, but what I really want is someone who's hot and funny. When's the last time you done something for him? None of your business. Oh! Oh, hold up, you better recognize whose house you in. You're a love m you know that? I can be whatever the hell I want to be in me casa. Then why can you be skinny? Oh, Victor, I'm telling you, she is off the chain. Excuse me. Baby, relax. Hey, Cornice, come on in and meet Victor. <laughs> I'm so excited. The girl I picked was funny. She's outgoing. She's the type of girl that would really take care of Victor, and I like that. This is Victor. Hi. I'm fun. I'm cool to be around. If I hang out with your son and you guys at the same time, we'd all be laughing. And this is her. Cornelius had really big boobs. Too bad they didn't cover her ugly face. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Better like kiss her. My first impression of Cornice was she had a very curvaceous body, and it was awesome. Victor and Cornice are off for a smashing good time, while mom, dad, and girlfriend Joyce get to watch it all go down right there in the living room. What an awesome smile she had. Ooh. She had a horrible smile. It looked like this. Better than being with you. You're always frowning. You look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love to eat healthy. And my favorite snack is a fruit smoothie. How do you feel about making fruit smoothies? Sounds good. What a stupid idea. Check me out back here. How you like my melon? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he liked the melon. <laughs> Her melons are lumpy. At least she got melon. This, my friend, is my life-size fruit blender. All yeah, right. So we're going to take right. everything and we're just going to mix it in. I wish you'd get in the blender and try it out. Maybe you should get in the blender. Mm -hmm. We are going to take fruit, go to the top of the stadium, and we're going to drop it down. You ready to launch things over? Let's see what happens. OK, let's do it. OK, ready? One, two, two three. three. Watch it! Ah! Oh my god, that was so amazing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh my god. That was Joyce's head. That was her head. That's pretty brutal. Puedo decirte lo que yo quiera, no me importa. I don't understand a word you're saying. Can you help us out, please? Can you understand this? Yep, got that one. Oh yeah, you got that one. <laughs> That's so crazy. Look at this big old mess we made. Wow. Is this what Americans do for fun? They have fun together. Something you wouldn't know about. Typical Americans. Just put something on TV and you love it. Put it all in there. All right, ready to throw it in? <laughs> Yogurt. So delicious. And we're gonna eat it all. Yummy. 
I'm glad he put that on her face. That's an improvement. Ha ha, real funny. Taste it, it's really good. All right, I'll take it. How do you like it? Not so much. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> it's okay, but why don't we just go get cleaned up and go talk? Well, just as a backup, I did bring us some real fruit drinks. All right. Wanna toast it? Let's toast. Toast to a good day. You call that a good day? Yeah. Oh, wow, you got problems. You are just ugly. Tell me what you do for a little. I am a dance instructor. Oh, really? Would you like to show me some? Okay, let's see. <sighs> right? What the hell is she doing? She looks ridiculous. It looks like she's stepping on cockroaches or something. Look at her. Oh, and how would you know about cockroaches? I'm looking at one right now. <laughs> wow, impressive. That's just a little step, you know. That was good. I, I tried. Like <laughs> Double J, come on, what? You're a big green clown man. My God, your vocabulary astounds me. You never know that English was your second language. <laughs> I know they say that a woman shouldn't get a man a bouquet, but it's for you. Thank you. Make sure you eat those in front of your girlfriend. Reminder of the fun that we had. <laughs> on your way out. Keep on your way out. I just got back from my date with Cornice. One word, it was delicious. My mom's pick is coming over now. She wants somebody who can treat me like a king. Sounds good to me. I can't wait until Victor starts dating a new girl. <laughs> Please. That's all you got? Oh. <laughs> Ew. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. Why don't you come on in? I picked Valerie because she's cute, she's energetic, and Mama knows what's best for her son. This is my son, Victor. Hi, Victor. Hi. I'm fun, I'm outgoing. If he dates me, he'll never go back to Zix. And this is bleep bleep. Whatever. Valerie just stood there with a stupid look on her face. She looks like a dumb American. Esa chamarra parece que la agarraste del mercadito. Y tú pareces una lagartija estúpida, idiota. Ay, ¿ya te viste a ti? Ay, cállate, idiota. Okay, okay, woo! So, you want to grab your baby suit? Let's get out of here? Yeah. All right, let's go. Bye. When I first saw Valerie, I thought, wow, those eyes drive me wild. Victor and Valerie are off for some high seas romance, while mom, dad, and Joyce are back at the house, ready to see how things unfold. If he plays his cards right, he might even get a bra off. Oh Fancy. my god, I did not need to hear that. Mm-hmm. What about you? You can't even find your boobs. Don't worry about it, I can. <laughs> You're a nasty fat man, you know that? You go, honey. It looks like a tampon commercial. What is wrong with you? There's always rainbows and birds and vaginas. What? Vaginas? You know what that is, right? Today we're doing power kayaking. Power kayaking? Yep, wow. it's gonna be so fun. Oh, they're gonna go on water! So how many kayaks will you guys need? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I get it. We need a lot, because we're fat. Uh, but at least I'm not ugly and about to lose my boyfriend, huh? <laughs> it's a cute bathing suit. Thank you. Look at it. You like it? Yes. Yeah, so nice. I'm glad you did. Did she make that baby to her soul? Seriously, that thing is whack. It's what? Like, wiggity whack. Wiggity whack? No, like, witty, witty. The English <laughs> what's up? Shut up. Let's race. All right. <laughs> that looks like fun to you? That's right. Oh, you're simple. Woo! Are you hungry? Yeah, I can eat. Yeah, let's go dry up and grab something to eat. It's like listening to you guys having a conversation. Are you hungry? Yeah, let's get something to eat. I'm starving. 
So I have some licorice and some juice for us. Here you go. All right, all right. So what would you say are two words that would describe me? Two words that would describe you? Ugly and slut. Uh, beautiful and uh, outgoing. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong? Why do you look so mad? Ah, ya cállense, me tienen harto los dos. Hey, hey, calm down. Cállate, that means shut up. So you told me you do wrestling, so why don't you show me some moves? Try and pin me down. All right, let's see. Hey. Oh. <laughs> That's not wrestling. That's like dry humping. I smell love in the air. I think that's barbecue. All right, I can be used to that. All right. <laughs> but I know I have to take you home. Right. So you want to go? Yay! Oh my God. What are you cheering for? Because you're gone. You are out of here. So I just got back from my date with Valerie. What can I say? She was really cool. But now, I have to make a decision. Joyce rocks my world, and I love being with her. But these other girls are awesome, too. Who am I going to pick? I'm really going to have to put some thought into this one. Now it's time for Victor to make his decision. Will he choose Cornice, the girl with the tasty melons, or Valerie, his kayaking cutie? Or will he choose Joyce, his girlfriend of one year and the person his parents can't stand? Hey, girls. I think I know who I want but I'm gonna give you one last chance to convince me why I should pick you. Victor, you should pick me because I'm cute, I'm sweet, and if you like the way I look in that wetsuit, wait till you see me on our second date. Victor, you should pick me because simply, our date was bomb, and so am I. Babe, stay with me. I'm not dating your parents, I'm dating you, and we're perfect for each other. Thanks, ladies. That was so cool. But I still have to eliminate one of you. Right now. Valerie, cruising around the lake with you was totally exciting. Unfortunately, you're not. You're boring anyways. Victor, you're the boring one. I was doing long division in my head all day. You're boring. And now, the hard part. Cornice, I really liked how creative your date was. But eating food off the ground, maybe not my thing. And Joyce, you always know what to say to make me laugh. I may not understand what you're saying, but you try. So I've made my decision, and the girl I choose is Joe! Victor, I can't believe you didn't pick me. You missed out on the bombest girl ever. I ate whatever the hell I want to eat. You want some? These things are good. Mm. It's good to have you back, baby. 